Hi Taurus, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another Love Bite. Taurus, let's see what's the message here for you today. The first Love Bite for the month of September. Taurus Spirit and a warm welcome back uh, Taurus to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Taurus, things are stagnant even though the chapter hasn't shut down yet or at least somebody is hoping it hasn't. Somebody wants to come out of the cold. They're not sure they're going to get a second chance. Somebody did something foolish here. And uh, as much as they want to come out of uh, feeling left out in the cold, they are very disappointed, very discontent. Uh, they could have come across as a player in the past, uh, but they are ready now. They are ready now to, well, level up and do the right thing. Somebody wants to communicate here big time. So, let's see. I'm going to clarify these cards, of course, uh, Taurus. But first, let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then I'm going to clarify these. Maybe they feel judged now. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Taurus and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Taurus and their person. Let's take a few more Taurus from another deck. Taurus and their person, Taurus and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Taurus and their person spirit, Taurus and their person, all right, good to go, let's start the reading Taurus and uh, Taurus, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkaratarot at gmail.com you can reach me there. The first card says, Shame on me. I put others before you. Soon after, I realized they were of no value to me. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions. Not talking to you absolutely breaks my heart and soul into a billion shattered pieces. I want to reach out to you. But I can't find the right words as I'm feeling so fragile right now. I knew from the first time that I saw you that I would love you forever. Your smile made me fall in love with you. And I knew then that I wanted to wake up to see your smile every morning. If only you knew what I've been through to be at your side. Do you really know the sacrifices I have made? It hurts like hell when you push me away, when all I do is fight for you and our love. When you look at me, it makes me feel worse. You see a side of me that others don't. I can't hide from you. Hurting you hurt me even more. When I'm feeling low, I close my eyes and I can feel your presence comforting me. I'm so grateful for our mystical connection. I hope we can come back together and pick up where we left off. Every song I hear reminds me of you. I wish we could just be direct and transparent with each other. Your inconsistent behavior has caused my family to have concerns and trust issues regarding you. This has now created another barrier for us to navigate and overcome. Alright Taurus, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start the reading with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today. Blessing, guidance, advice or a message for Taurus. Well, Taurus, uh, maybe somebody needs the confidence to speak up for what they want. But sometimes the spiritual meaning of this card is a bit different. Uh, this is the very, very strong sword of Archangel Michael. It's, cut, it's used, this sword is powerful enough to cut out anything that is toxic. Could be a person, could be a situation, could be a habit, could be anything. So I don't know what who's cutting off what here I have no clue use your discernment for this card it's a very strong very strong uh, card here 
So Spirit, tell me, why is there stagnancy in this connection? Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, some, there's, somebody is feeling that they've been dropped or something is over, feeling that they lost out on a wish come true, feeling a bit hopeless right now. Uh, even though they are hoping that uh, there is still a little window of opportunity, hoping that this connection has not ended. But uh, I guess this person was not interested in commitment in the past or treated their friends like fr their person like just a friend or friends with benefits, thought that, you know, they didn't have to change or something. Now, uh, now they are not sure whether they can get a second chance or not. Yeah, they took too long. I think this person was stuck or they just didn't make a choice or they stood at crossroads for too long. They never took a leap of faith in uh, the direction of that person and uh, could have disregarded what they had in front of them and uh, disrespected uh, a partner who now, you know, now they probably see the value in this person mm. as somebody they, they, that could have got gone the long haul or something. Now they realize that uh, it's their fault. They feel, they, they, they feel like a fool for whatever they did. Maybe they, they were keeping secrets or maybe now that person has gone quiet on them. They, are, they don't want to make things right. They want to make, this person is still watching, they're still spying, they're still watching, they want to make things right, uh, they, are, they have been awakened to whatever happened here. This person is trying to see things from all different perspectives, they are still stuck on this connection, that's for sure. And, um, and spirit, what's this people? And they're getting frustrated as the days are going by, they realize the part they played. They refuse to change. This person could have been in and out or very argumentative maybe in the past. They could have, you know, said certain things. Now they they are quietly watching from the sidelines. They are lonely. They are um, in their hermit mode, trying to figure things out, trying to figure out how they can still have victory with their person. They desperately want to come out of the cold. They desperately want to come out of feeling left behind or abandoned or left Left out. They want to come out of this disappointment. They're trying to figure out well, how can I make this work. They're very disappointed at uh, the fact that they never invested in the past because now they are realizing the true value of their person. Now when they look at their person, they see that, that the other person is not, not even chasing me. They're looking so good and so fine and so refined and nobody else can compare to, you know, this person. I mean, uh, the more they are watching, the more they are spying, I think the more this person is wishing and hoping for a second chance. They have options around them, that's not a thing. They have uh, other options who they could indulge with, but they don't want any of them. The, all they keep sitting is in discontent and sadness and feeling, uh, you know, thinking of the memories of the past, that golden cup that I had, which I should have, I should have, I could have. And um, so four of cups, four of cups. Four of Cups, yeah, this, they're, they're dreaming, they're dreaming, they're visualizing, they're fantasizing, they're recognizing that uh, their need or greed to keep their options open has cost them a beautiful connection which could have been a happily ever after. They realize that their person is not playing any more games with them, they've taken their power back, they'll probably never trust me again or, um, you know, they'll, they've cut me out of their life, use that <laughs> Archangel Michael sword and cut me out of their life. Uh, Knight of Wands, what's the Knight of Wands? Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands, one more. Knight of Wands clarified by the Knight of Wands. Yep, they're realizing why the other person has put their sword up. Right, they're realizing why the per person has uh, put their sword up because yes, they could have had third parties or they could have been treating their friend like just uh, their person as friends with benefits. This person is anxious now, they're having sleepless nights, they're having stress and anxiety at maybe the mind games they played with their person in the past. Now they want to talk but with what face are they going to come? I mean, they behave like a player, they're seeing that. 
right not just once but twice but multiple times they, this person was only thinking about themselves and they realized that they realized that i was selfish i was self centered i was arrogant and uh, you know i i'm the i'm the cause of all the, all the conflict in this connection and uh, no wonder my person has made a choice and a decision against me uh now i think they do they do want to level up they do want to come forward with some stable offer uh they are showing up now as somebody who's ready for um, something solid so let's do one thing taurus let's give the mic to this king of pentacles let's see what they want to say to this reading so tell me king of pentacles what do you want to say to this reading why are you here are you the one who's transformed from a knight of wands to a king of pentacles what would you like to say here we we'll put this back once again need clear and concise answers from you king of pentacles ah <laughs> okay one more okay so <laughs> king of pentacles says you're absolutely right omkara taro i i was sitting in my arrogance it was always my way or the highway and uh, my person saw through saw right through me they cut me out they're not even fighting for me anymore in fact i see them as shining bright and looking good and i mean i know that they were the ones they were who were trying they they were trying their best from their side and i thought that that would never end i thought this was this was going to continue for the longest time but i think i exhausted them they are exhausted of me tired of me they've given up on me so what do you want to do king of pentacles now tell me what do you want to do king of pentacles i don't know king of pentacles says i don't know how to ask them that uh, will they still have this four of wands with me i don't know how to ask them now i'm ready for commitment i see them in my future i know that they are my soulmate how do i ask them now they somewhere this king of pentacles says i'm ready but i'm not sure whether they will accept an apology from me anymore i don't think i'll be forgiven for because i see i see what i did and i understand why they made that decision i understand why they cut me out of their life why they took their power back and now i don't know whether i'll even be forgiven i'm ready though from my end in fact they do want to communicate okay so tell me eight of wands eight of wands overall energy for Taurus is reading yeah they want to talk they want to talk but they don't want things to backfire on them it's like if i talk and my person says no or you know things go backwards i mean there's a lot of stress anxiety sleepless nights stress tension they don't know whether there are other people now competing for their person whether their person will accept their offer or not or they'll end up just looking like a fool they don't know what the other person is going to decide right so as much as they want to communicate i think there's a bit of nervousness uh because because they don't want to be told that i gave up on you i dropped i'm dropping you i dumped you it's over things have been stagnant for too long and you you know you just took too long i'm not even single anymore this person doesn't want to face up to that so that's what i have for you and maybe they need that confidence to come and offer that i don't know uh, till next time then taurus love and light take care namaste